We have run out of funding for our interplanetary expeditions. Well, that's a bummer, but on the bright side, we still have the captured parasites from planet 536. They appear quite dormant at the moment. Anyway, if we can wake them up, maybe we can get our funding back. Let's hope for the best. happened how disappointing the specimens we collected were dead after all ha oh, what a waste. what the So class, it's time for everyone's results. Step 1, worry about the results. Man, I'm scared. Why dude? Bro I gave the worst performance of my life, no way I am gonna pass. And as expected, Marshall has the worst score in the whole class. Sorry sir. You have been doing the same for the past 3 weeks. I am sick of this. I think it's time to give you detention. Stay in the school after class ends and reattempt the test. All right, sir. Crap, you take care, man. So you're gonna stay here? Yeah, man, I have to. All right, me and Connor will be waiting for you to join our gaming session. <sighs> Any survivors? No, sir. All dead. Where is the specimen? The specimen is missing along with a worker. Track it. Step 2, study for your exam. Man I'm bored. Well, I can at least explore the halls in the meantime. Step 3, go outside the class. Someone at school at this time? Step 4. Locate the source of the sound. What kind of sound is that? What the hell are you doing here? I told you to reattempt your paper. 
Oh, I was just looking for some water. Whatever, go back to your classroom. I will be personally taking your exam now. All right. Meanwhile, I will go check the source of this malfunction. I bet that stupid janitor did something with the power circuit. Step 5, go back to your class. Man, I miss Marshall. Same. Let's check up on him, it's getting late. Why is he still at school? Alright, let's head to school. See, that watchman can't take care of anything. Oh crap. Step 6, hear a scream. What was that? Was that Dr. Bart? Step 7, get out of the class. What was that? We need to get in. Step 8, sense a strange presence. Run. Step 9, run with your friends. Oh no. Step 10, be glad that the monster is dead. What are you doing to him? Worry about yourself. Are you, Are you sure, sure you hit, you hit, it, hit there? it there? Well, well forgive, forgive me if I couldn't remember the exact, exact spot while the, while the freaking police were on me. Alright, alright. All right. Just, Just help me help find, find it. it. Okay. Okay, okay. Wait, 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 did you hear something? something? What? what? Must, Must be, be a bat, a bat or, something. or something. I hope I so. Hope so. Once, Once we get, we get the, money, the money, it's, it's over. over. No, no more robberies. robberies. I didn't, I didn't even, even want to be a part of this crap. crap. The, quicker the quicker we find it, the easier it will be for us to leave this life behind. Yeah, don't forget that we... 
Jeffrey? Oh no. Oh crap. Oh fuck. you have something on the back of your head. What? Look at this. The hell. It must be the doing of Vincent and his gang. What did you do to annoy them? Nothing. I simply refused to do the homework on their behalf. Well that often gets you in hot water. What can I do? Pray that they don't pull any more pranks on you. Hey you skinny loser. You look like they pulled you out of a gulag in the morning. Hey leave him alone. What was it? You want the smoke too pal? You egghead looking monkey. Okay, okay. He is not a part of this. Brace yourself, because as soon as we reach there, I am going to make your life a living hell. Good luck, dude. Poor you. Want to save yourself from getting bullied? Yes, I do. Then follow my advice. Troll tutorial. How to save yourself from getting bullied on a school picnic. Step 1. Wait for your bus to reach the destination. Step 2. Band together with a group so they can't bully you. Hey, can I join you guys for the exploration? Sure dude. Alright thanks a lot. Step 3. Congrats. Now stick together for the journey. Students, now it's time for us to explore the caves. Make sure not to wander deep into any cave. The hell? Where did this come from? You thought you could escape us? Take this. The hell? Why didn't you tell us that you have beef with Vince? F*** this, you're on your own now. Step 4. Mission failed. Run away. No. I won't run. Oh really? What's your plan? I am going to face them. Step 5. Face your bullies. Look who showed up. I am here to challenge you. What? Are you serious? Are you challenging me? Yes, let's end this. Alright, let's play rock paper scissors. If you win, we will stop hurting you. But if I win, you'll have to go deep into this cave. Alright bet. Step 6. Prepare yourself. Rock paper scissors. Huh. Rock beats scissors dot I win. Step 7. Regret immediately. Crap. Remember the bet, you now have to go down to the caves. Alright, I will go. Good. We are standing right here. Step 8. Go down into the caves. This place this reeks. reeks. I wonder where the smell is coming from. Step 9. Keep walking into the cave system. The hell? Step 10, see what you tripped over. Oh god, I am rich. Well the gold doesn't belong to you. Finders, Finders keepers, keepers dude. dude. Bruh. What was, what was it? Maybe we should leave. I am not I leaving not the money, money behind, behind, and I won't I let Vince see this money. money. Step 11, take the gold with you in your backpack. <laughs> Step 12, find two dead bodies. The hell. So that's, so that's where the stench was coming from? Let's just leave. Alright. Oh no. Step 13, run. What's taking him so long? You two come with me. Dude, this stench is killing me. Smells like a dead rat in here. Shut the fuck up, you two.
What did he get me into? I swear I will kill him when I find him. You, you are the reason Nate and Billy are dead. It's all your fault. What are you talking about? I am going to kill you. Step 14, now's your chance, run away. Local town kid uncovers stolen bank money from a cave. The dead bodies of the suspected robbers were also found in the cave along with three classmates of the kid. He claims to see a cave monster in there but the police refuse to believe him. In other news, three people disappeared after wandering into... Do you regret returning the money? Well, I guess we did the right thing. I suppose. Step 17. Prepare to get your soul consumed. Wait, stop. Bro, that was crazy. I can't believe we wiped out their whole squad. If we keep winning, we might turn professional gamers one day. We definitely can. By the way, did you do your homework? <laughs> what? We had homework? Dude, you're done for. Dr. Troll will butcher you. It's alright I have nothing to worry about. What's the worst that can happen? Josh you have disappointed me yet again. This is the fifth time you haven't submitted your homework. Biology is very important and you need to pay attention to what projects I assign you. If you carry on acting like this, I would have no choice but to fail you. To punish you, I will give you the lowest score possible. Enjoy repeating the same grade. I'm sorry sir. Sorry will not save you, show me some actual effort into your studies. Hey how was school? Not good. I'm tired. I need some rest. What got into him? No idea. <sighs> Where's my narrator? You asked me for me? About time you showed up. I only show up when you need help with basic tasks. If I don't do something about my grades, Dr. Trollo will definitely fail me. I don't want that to happen. All my friends will be in the next grade and I'll have to repeat the same class. Is that so? Well, I can show you how you can get on your teacher's good side. You do? Yes, just follow my steps. Troll Tutorial How to Gain Your Teacher's Admiration and Respect Step 1. Give him a gift so he knows that you appreciate him teaching you. What are you doing? I am making a brownie for him. Do you even know how to make a brownie? Well kind of. That's not enough. Troll tutorial. How to make a brownie. Hey shut up I don't have that much time. Well okay then. So you take some baking soda and flour. Um then you mix in some cocoa pods. I think you first need to extract the chocolate from those pods. Too bad bro. Now some milk and a bit of butter. Bro you threw in the whole brick. Psych. 
And now let's put it in the oven. It's done. This actually makes your school canteen food look appetizing. It's fine. What's the worst that can happen? Step 2. Present your teacher your gift. Hey sir I got something for you. I made it myself. Really? Well thank you. Let me give this a taste test. What the hell? This tastes like absolute garbage. This tastes like a used flip-flop covered in bitter chocolate and overbaked in the oven. I'd rather drink a whole gallon of pink sauce than eat this atrocity. You not only suck in biology but also in cooking. May God have mercy on your soul. <laughs> I can't believe that didn't work. I told you to follow proper instructions before attempting to cook. It was a bad idea. Well you tried your hand at something that you suck at. Instead, why not try something anyone can easily do? Really? Like what? So here's what you can do. Step 3. See if your teacher is in need of help. Step 4. This is your chance. Help him start his car. Hey teacher. Need some help? Yes my car doesn't start. Can you give it a slight push? Step 5. Give the car a push. Wait. Stop pushing. The car has already started. Ah. Uh. I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to. Get the hell away from me before I am forced to get you expelled. Sometimes I wish I was never assigned to you. However, not all hope is lost. Your teacher is angry with you because you don't pay attention to your studies. If you start paying attention, maybe he won't treat you so poorly. So what do I need to do? Work on your science experiment and surprise him with good results. You're right. This will work. Step 6. Head to the school science lab. Step 7. Gather apparatus for your science experiment. Wait, I am missing some important instruments. Step 8, look for the missing instruments. Step 9, instruments are nowhere to be found. Step 10, notice a strange trap door. Hmm, maybe I'll find the instruments down there. This is where they probably keep all the stuff they couldn't fit in the lab. Step 11, go down the trap door. Step 12, this place seems oddly familiar. Wait what is this? I am in the school hallway. How is that possible? The hallway is supposed to be above me. Step 13, continue exploring the basement. Step 14, notice that this is your class. This can't be. This is impossible. Where the hell am I? What is this place? Step 15, notice a weird presence around you. I should just leave now. Step 16, run for your life. Welcome to your demise. 
Step 17. Prepare to get your soul consumed. Wait, stop. Step 18. You are saved by an unknown person. How did you manage to slip into this reality? Where am I? This is the alter reality. It exists in parallel to your world. Basically, in this reality, there's a corrupted version of everything that exists in your world. This place is inhabited by these eldritch entities. People sometimes slip into this reality using secret doors. I am a watcher who's supposed to guard these doors. I didn't realize you had accessed that basement trap door before it was too late. Well that's a lot to digest. Let me accompany you back to your world. You removed all his memories regarding this event, right? Don't worry, he does not remember anything regarding the basement. Good. But the entities now know about that door. They can access dimension number 808 any moment. I had expected that. We need to alert all our enforcers. Please, do I really have to do this? Damn right you have to. You didn't do our homework, you have to pay the price at all costs. Alright I guess. What's up with this basement anyway? Well that Josh dude claims to have lost his memories after he went down there. Is that true? I don't know. He could have made that up. What is this place? Looks just like the school hall. How's that possible? So, what did you see down there? Hey, we are talking to you. What the? Hello students, I'm sure you are aware of the disappearance of Ed and Andrew, don't worry, we are looking into it, meanwhile, it's better if we take some time off of studies and do some fun activities. Man they don't give a f**k. It seems so. So, we have decided to go for a nice school picnic, a music festival is also taking place there, we will have a lot of fun. Wow, this is like the least appropriate time to go for a picnic. So kids, buckle up. We will be leaving at Monday. Yo Josh, are you coming? I don't think I will. Seems pretty boring to me. Really? Everyone's going. You should come too. Might help you take your mind off of what happened. I don't even remember what happened. It's as if I lost my memories after going down that basement. Need some help? Yeah. Everyone's going for the picnic. I guess I have to give in to peer pressure now. Don't worry, I will tell you how to have a fun picnic. Troll Tutorial, How to Have an Epic School Picnic Step 1, Pack some ready-made lunch. Are you gonna butcher the brownie just like last time? No, I bought them from the store. Thank God. Step 2, Grab some epic sunglasses. Step 3, take a metal pipe with you, it will come in handy. Step 4, go meet your friend at the school. I am ready for the trip man. Me too. Step 5, notice something weird. What's up with him? Oh Ben, he's been acting weird since Andrew and Ed disappeared. I hope he doesn't show up on the trip. Wishful thinking. Step 6, get in the bus.
Do you know that the Magnificent Chalio is going to perform at the music festival? OMG, I have such a crush on him. Ha, huh, you girls have such a bad taste in music. Chalio is overrated. I can't believe that you could. Wow, these girls are really obsessed with that guy. Step 7, see Ben still staring at you. I am not going to enjoy this picnic at all. Step 8, you have arrived at your destination. Kids, we are going to set up camps here. Make a friend group consisting of four members to set up camp. Hey, can I join you girls? You. Hey, can I join you guys? Sure. Wait, what? Don't worry, he is just awkward. He's no threat to us. Thank you for being so kind. Hey, can I join you guys as well? Yeah, why not? Welcome to this merry band. Yay. Step 9. Set up camp with your newly formed group. This looks rather nice. It's quite cozy. Man, I'm hungry. Let's go fishing in the lake. I pass. I already have some food. Oh, come on. Give us some company. All right, but I'm not interested in eating any seafood. Step 10, fish with your friends. Hey, I got a fish. That's a big catch. I can't wait to cook it. Dude, are you okay? Yeah, I was just hungry. Hungry for salmonella? Whatever, I'll catch another. What? And you're telling me this just now? The entity escaped my radar somehow. I have reason to believe that it's occupying the body of a kid at school. Hmm. If it's just one then no need to send the whole troop. I will take care of that thing. OMG, I can't wait to attend Tralio's concert. I want to attend as well. What do you guys think? I'll join. It's not like I have something better to do. Step 11. Attend the concert. I need to take a leak. I'll be back. Ah, I don't feel so good. I'm outside. You enjoy the event. Alright, bro. Man, I hate loud people. Step 12. Hear a scream from the forest. Was that dirt? Step 13. Check the source of the scream. Step 14. Derp is dead. Who? Who did this? Step 15. Encounter it. We met yet again, Josh. I don't even know you. Step 16. Use the metal pipe. I made it on time. Who are you? Oh yes, I wiped your memories. Don't worry, I will give them back to you. But before that, we need to set this thing on fire. It can regenerate just like last time. Last time? It's alright. This is normal after receiving your memories back. You are in shock. So, what now? Go back to school. Everything will go smoothly from now on. Everything will be fine. Absolutely nothing will happen to anyone at all.
students of the Longfellow School, I'm sure as you all know, we lost a valuable student to an unknown murderer during our school picnic. The investigation is currently underway. We will find the killer soon. We will also find Ben soon who went missing the same night. Man, this school is not safe at all. I know right. So class, today we will learn about the topic of reproduction. Implants. Aww. Don't tell me this is your doing. I swear I did nothing. Well, you have to deal with it now. How can they all escape at once? It's all due to that kid, Josh. So, what do we now? We need help from the whole army. Send all our enforcers to tell everyone in the school to evacuate. Right, Commander. So what were you saying about Ben? Ah, uh, well I was saying there's no need to look for him anymore. Why is that? Well... What was that? An earthquake? Seems like something else to be honest. Oh no, it's them. Them who? No time to explain. Run. Dan. Oh no. What the hell is happening? No idea. Listen closely everyone. Your mission is to kill all the entities in the school and evacuate all the civilians. Hey, I am the one who gives them orders. Not now, Captain. Alright. And remember, gather all their bodies we can burn them. Otherwise, they will regenerate in no time. Yes, yes. Let's finish this together. Yes, let's go. I will go deeper in the school to deal with entities. You evacuate people. Wait, take this. This should come in handy. Thank you. Why is this place so dark? Looks like the two ruralities are merging together. Hey boy, who are you? Josh. You're finally here. Yes I am. Listen you need to evacuate with the others immediately. Follow the soldiers, they will take you out safely. I can't do that. I need to find Dan. The entities took him. Um, okay. Take this with you. I hope you know how to shoot. I've played airsoft. May God save us. Everyone, you all need to evacuate immediately. Go out through this door. Captain, we are losing men in huge numbers. You need to hold on until more help arrives.
What even is this place? We are no longer at the school. I think the entity took your friend to a deeper level of this alter reality. I hope he's okay. Let's keep walking. What the hell? Shoot it. It's not working. You forgot to turn off safety. My bad. Please pay attention. If you want to find your friend, you need to show some courage. Got it. Good. Now let's find your friend. Dan. Dan, wake up. Wait, where am I? You are with us? That's all you have to know now. How did you get here? I brought him here. Who are you? I am the apostle of this level. Put on this purgatory to punish your kind by the one and only weeping God. What the hell are you saying? Oops, I revealed too much. Anyhow, time to die. Um. Escaping your fate will be in vain. Wait, I almost forgot. I am glad you three made it out alive. We have dealt with all the entities for good. So, what happens now? Now? Well I guess now we have to shut down this school for once and for all. We will make up a story to cover everything up. <sighs> I am going to miss this school. Can someone tell me what the hell just happened? We have arrived. Step 8, you've made it to the abandoned school.
Aha, finally it works. We're off to a bad start already, man. Why don't we just leave? Even the camera didn't work at first. You know, this could be a sign for us to get out. Bro, really? You're gonna give up just like that? Yeah, because I value my life. Forget about it, bro. We're gonna be so famous. Do you want your channel to grow or not? We gotta take risks in life. <sighs> okay, shut up. Now I'm recording, as you can see. As you can see, guys, we're at the school in the underground quarters. You might be wondering why we are this creepy place. Well, you tell them, Hob. Ah, well you see, there's this local legend that this school was built on top of an old cemetery. Tell them the whole thing. Okay, so, uh, it's said that they would conduct rituals here with the skeletons and whatnot. It's said that this place is haunted and filled with spirits. Most of them are pretty chill, but there's one that never shows mercy to anyone. Go on. It is said that if you take his name after 8pm, he will wake up from his slumber after hundreds of years, and the first thing he will do is feed himself. But if you make it to 12 a.m., he will leave you alone. And you know what time is it? Yes, it's past 8 p.m. now. That spirit's name is- Shush it, bro. Now what? Didn't you hear? We're not supposed to take its name. If it hears us, it will definitely kill us. Well, I want to make sure the audience knows what we're looking for. So you take your whiny attitude somewhere else. Okay, so, you all ready? Its name is Gara. Damn it, you just had to say that cursed name. Now we're gonna die for sure, bro. Oh, come on, have some faith in me. We're gonna capture him on camera. Then we're going to leave. Okay. I will go that way. You that way. Here, keep this torch. You have a camera with you, don't you? Yeah, I have one. Good. Billy, just what have you dragged me in? I swear, this will be the last time me being a part of your schemes. <coughs> Who's there? Bob? Was that you? Oh god, what happened? Step 1, get into school.
Hey Kevin, did you do the assignment? Yeah I did. What about you? Same here. Well I don't need to worry about it, I'm sure Max will have me covered. Speaking of Max, where is he? I can't believe they didn't close the school for at least a day. You know how they are, the protesters could burn the whole thing down and they will still expect us to come to school. Yeah right. What are we going to do about all these protests? We don't have to do anything, they will forget about it in a matter of weeks. I think we still need to ensure parents that their kids are safe. I will tighten security, don't worry. Good, thank you. Also, I'd appreciate that we don't talk about it in front of children. Everything is in front of them, can't hide from them for too long. <sighs> we will discuss this further in our office. Alright class, submit your assignment to me now. John, you are late, very late. John? <sighs> anyway, submit your assignment class. Step 2, submit your assignment. My hat. You took my hat, didn't you? Huh? I have no idea what you're talking about. Give me my hat. Now. Have you lost your mind? So you won't give me my hat? No. What the hell, both of you, stop, stop at once. What is going on here? He started it. You know what, I'm already pissed today. You two have detention. Stay in the school after class ends and redo the assignment. Ten times each. What the hell? What did I do? He started it. I don't want to hear anything, Kevin. <sighs> Step 3, prepare for detention. Take care, man. I will see you tomorrow. Where did my hat go? Will you just shut up? Surrender now. We got you two surrounded. Give me the gun. Here you go. This is not going to plan. I shouldn't have listened to you. I knew the store was the safer option for robbery. Now's not the time for this. Let's run. Let's hide here. Okay. Appears to be locked. Here, smash the window. Okay. Step 4. Hear the window smashing. Hey, did you hear it? Hear what? The window. Must be a rat. Step 5, light has gone out. Ah damn it. John, do you have something to light this place? Yes, I have this torch. Give me, I will go check if I can fix the lights. I will look for my hat. Step 6, go check up on the lights.
John, I had enough of your pranks. Are you? Okay, okay let's, let's hide, hide in here till the police, police stop, stop looking for us. For us. Okay. okay. What's, What's this? this? Graffiti. Graffiti. What, what does, does it say? say? It, it says, says Gara. Gara. Step 7. Realize that you have been saved. Do you think we should steal some stuff from school too? I don't think what they keep in here is much valuable. I think this can make up some good bucks. What do you think? Well I think, oh Jesus what the hell is that? What? Step 8. Run to safety. <sighs> Finally I found my hat. What the hell is that? We need to hide, run t Look, the window is broken, did someone break in? We should check it from inside. <laughs> 